Space might look like an empty void, but the rocks floating around out there carry secrets that are anything but ordinary. Scientists have cracked open asteroid samples only to find things that seem impossible. We're talking about ancient molecules that shouldn't exist, strange magnetic anomalies, and even potential evidence for the earliest stirrings of life. Tonight, we're diving into real discoveries that scientists pulled from asteroid samples, and each one of them is more unsettling than the last. The first the most disturbing find comes from Japan's Hayabusa 2 mission to asteroid Ryugu. In 2019, the spacecraft successfully touched down on this pitch black diamond shaped rock and scooped up tiny grains of its surface before returning them to Earth. When the samples were opened in 2022, scientists expected to find nothing more than dust and fragments of rock. Instead, however, they were stunned. Inside the asteroid dust were amino acids the literal building blocks of proteins and the foundation of all known life. What made this discovery shocking is that these amino acids had formed naturally in space without any biological activity involved. That means the recipe for life doesn't require a planet at all. It can happen on drifting rocks bombarded by cosmic radiation. To put it into perspective, if amino acids are so easily made in space, they could be scattered all over the universe. Every asteroid, every comet, every dust cloud could be a little factory producing the ingredients for life. The same samples from Ryugu contained another revelation that unsettled scientists even more. While examining the tiny particles under advanced microscopes, researchers spotted something unusual. Droplets of liquid water trapped inside mineral grains. Not frozen ice, which we've seen before on comets, but actual liquid water preserved for billions of years. This was terrifying to scientists because it provided direct proof that asteroids may have been the delivery system for Earth's oceans. But the story takes an even stranger turn. When they studied the chemistry of the droplets, they found the water wasn't identical to what we drink on Earth. Its composition was slightly off almost alien, if you will. That suggested that multiple flavors of water were delivered to early Earth from different extraterrestrial sources. In other words, the oceans covering our planet may be a strange cocktail of cosmic water, each batch coming from a different asteroid or comet. That realization raises an eerie question. If life began in this mixed ocean, are we the product of a recipe that could have turned out differently if other asteroids had hit us instead? Some asteroid samples contained something that should not even exist anymore. Dust grains older than the sun itself. These tiny particles, known as pre-solar grains, were identified in meteorites linked to asteroids. Scientists dated them and found out that they had formed in the outflows of ancient dying stars billions of years before our solar system was born. To hold them in your hand is like holding time itself. Fragments of alien stars that lived and died before Earth was ever even imagined. What makes this discovery disturbing is the grain's survival. These tiny specks endured cosmic radiation, collisions, and the chaotic birth of our solar system, yet somehow made it into asteroid material that eventually found its way to us. They are older than the Earth, older than our sun, and older than every planet in the solar system. When NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission finally returned samples from asteroid Bennu in 2023, scientists began analyzing the tiny fragments under sensitive instruments. What they discovered shocked them. Some of the minerals contained magnetic signatures that didn't match Earth, the moon, or even the expected fields from our solar system. These signatures were frozen in place billions of years ago, meaning the rocks were once exposed to magnetic environments we don't fully understand. The disturbing part is that Bennu shouldn't have had a magnetic field strong enough to cause this effect on its own. That left scientists wondering what cosmic forces the asteroid had once 
once encountered. Was Bennu part of a much larger parent body with an active magnetic core? Or did it travel through regions of space where strange, powerful magnetic fields existed? Asteroids are littered with compounds that make scientists uneasy. In multiple samples, including those from Ryugu, Bennu, and meteorite fragments from other asteroids, researchers have found complex organic molecules, including hydrocarbons and even structures resembling nucleobases, the chemical cousins of DNA's building blocks. The shocking thing is these molecules weren't created by life. They formed through raw chemistry in space, under conditions of freezing cold, vacuum, and radiation. The discovery forces us to rethink life's origins. If the universe naturally produces DNA-like chemicals on lifeless rocks, then the step from chemistry to biology may be far easier than we thought. That's exciting, but also deeply unsettling. In yet another shocking twist, Ryugu's dust contained salt crystals embedded in its minerals. Not just random salts, but sodium and chlorine compounds that look suspiciously like the same salts we find in Earth's oceans. To scientists, this suggests liquid water once flowed through Ryugu's parent body billions of years ago, and where there's liquid water, there's always the haunting possibility of habitability. What makes it even stranger is the implication that these tiny, dry asteroids may once have hosted miniature alien oceans deep inside them. Imagine a rock drifting through space with salty pockets of water sloshing around in its interior. These can conditions could have lasted for millions of years, giving complex chemistry time to evolve. While there's no evidence of actual life in these salty minerals, the idea that asteroid fragments may have once been tiny alien oceans definitely unsettled scientists. Another disturbing find came from Bennu's samples. Scientists analyzing the dust discovered radioactive isotopes that seemed far too fresh to be billions of years old. Normally, these isotopes would have decayed away long ago. Their presence suggested that Bennu had been exposed to ongoing processes that renewed or preserved them. One possibility is constant bombardment by high-energy cosmic rays, which can trigger nuclear reactions in rock. But another explanation is far stranger. These isotopes might be leftovers from violent nuclear processes in the earliest days of the solar system, events we don't fully understand. If small asteroids like Bennu are filled with unstable isotopes, they might also pose unknown hazards when they collide with Earth. These isotopes could release bursts of radiation or heat, adding an extra layer of danger to impacts. It's a reminder that asteroids are not just inert rocks drifting in space. They are active records of violent, radioactive processes that shaped the early universe. In 2022, Japanese researchers studying Ryugu dust under electron microscopes noticed something deeply unsettling. The carbon-rich molecules they found didn't just clump randomly. Instead, some had organized themselves into spherical, bubble-like shapes that resembled primitive cell membranes. They weren't alive, but the structures looked disturbingly close to protocells simple pre-life forms that scientists believe may have been the stepping stones toward biology. The discovery was chilling because it suggested the leap from chemistry to something resembling biology may not be rare at all. If these structures can self-assemble in the cold vacuum of space, then the early stages of life could be happening all over the universe quietly, inside asteroids and comets. Some experts even speculated that these structures may represent false starts, protocells that never had the chance to evolve further. When scientists opened the sealed canister containing Bennu's dust in 2023, they were hit with another shocking surprise. Inside the minerals were tiny pockets of trapped gases, including carbon dioxide and nitrogen that predate Earth itself. These gases have been locked away in inside mineral pores for over 4 billion years, untouched by atmosphere or life. But the chemistry of the gases was nothing like what we're used to. Their ratios and signatures didn't match Earth's atmosphere, Mars, or even the Sun. They were completely alien, giving us a glimpse of what the early solar system actually smelled and tasted like. 
the ingredients for atmospheres and possibly for life may vary wildly across different worlds. The last disturbing discovery wasn't a chemical or a gas, but scars written directly into the rocks themselves. When researchers scanned samples from both Ryugu and Bennu, they found shock veins, fractures, and impact scars that could only come from catastrophic collisions. These asteroids weren't formed peacefully. They were shattered, reassembled, and shattered again. The leftover fragments of violent impacts that shook the early solar system. Scientists worry that because of their fractured rubble pile nature, asteroids like Bennu may be harder to deflect if one ever comes our way. Instead of being a solid rock you could push off course, they're loose collections of unstable debris that could break apart and still hit us. The samples revealed that these aren't harmless little space pebbles. They're ticking time bombs carrying the scars of ancient disasters and they might one day bring that disaster to us. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Levi Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.